actually make the sound right now. Right now we're just going to practice. So to practice, we're going to exaggerate. We're going to do more than what's normal. That way we can learn how to make the sound. So stick out your tongue. And now just try to blow down the center of your tongue. <laughs> kind of close your mouth just a little bit. Oh, my throat's getting dry. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now, I want you to think about this. Make sure that your jaw is just a little slightly more closed. Okay? And make sure that the sides of your tongue are touching your teeth, your back teeth. But still keep your tongue sticking out. So, we're going to stick out our tongue. And then we're going to slightly close our mouth. Make sure that the side of your tongue is touching your teeth. And then we're going to practice just blowing out. When you make the sound, I should be able to see your tongue. So let's see. Yeah. Okay, you want to you wanna open up your teeth just a little bit and then make sure that the sides of your tongue are touching your side, but just like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the air should be going down the middle of your tongue. Okay? So, like, if this is your tongue, the air should be going down the middle of your tongue, not on the sides. Okay? And then your teeth are going to be touching the sides of your tongue. Okay? The teeth are going to be touching the sides. Okay? And right now we're just practicing. <laughs> so, your tongue needs to be flat. It doesn't need to be all smushed together. It needs to be flat. There you go. Good job. Okay. <laughs> You're doing good. You're doing good. What you got? Can you feel the air on like the tip of your tongue? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're working on the sound of TH in the word like think. 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 Alright, so now we want to pull our tongue in just a little bit more, okay? So that the tip of the tongue is like right there at your front teeth, but it's not behind your front teeth, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the sides of your tongue should be touching your teeth, but they shouldn't be touching your very front teeth, because your very front teeth is where the air is going to flow, okay? So let's just work on that sound. I should be able to see everyone's tongue.
when you say the TH part. Think. And then I want you to say then, and tell me what you feel when you say the beginning of the word vibration. then. <laughs> the thing or the thing? No, the thing. Okay. Though is which one? Think or then? Okay. Here are five sentences. Okay. I want you to 
say these five sentences with your partner, the person that you're sitting with, and if you could, that would be great. Thank you. Okay. So here are the five sentences. Say, read one of the sentences to your partner, and then have your partner read the sentences to you. Okay? And if you can't understand what they're saying, then make sure you let them know. properly say all of the words, right? Okay. All right, here we go. Everyone's going to get a sheet of paper. Okay. On your paper is a list of words. These words have these sounds. Okay. The, 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 okay. All right. So you and your partner have the same words. Okay. But they are in a different order. Your job is to put them in the same order, okay? So without your partner seeing your paper, don't let them see your paper. Yeah. Take your book and write on your book, okay? You are going to tell your partner what the words are, and then you are going to list them, okay? So right here on this little line, you should put a number, and that same number should be next to the same word on your partner's paper, okay? So we'll say the first one is zo. Zo, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to tell your partner, the first word I have is zo. So let's put a number one next to zo. So you put a number one. And then your partner is going to be like, well, that's not my first word. So let me find zo, zo, zo. Oh, there it is, zo. So we're going to put a number one next to zo, okay? And then they're going to say, well, I have psi up here, psi. So let's make number two psi. So then you're going to look on your paper. Oh, there's psi. I'm going to put number two, okay? If you do not know what they say, then you can ask them, what did you say, okay? You cannot describe the word and you cannot spell the word. You can only say the word. 